guys welcome back to my channel so today I am filming for you my 10 best purchases of 2017 now this is including beauty and clothes I just it was really hard to pick just 10 things because I feel like I shopped a lot this year sadly I should not have but I did and I really wanted to pick like stand out things that like I love still so much at the end of the year can't wait to use them next year like amazing amazing things so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started I guess I'll start with beauty and then I will go into like clothes and stuff um but yeah so I thought it was really fun so if you guys want to film this too that would be really fun and I can like check your eyes out or like I don't know a lot of people did like kind of best of beauty best of fashion but this is kind of just 10 things top so a little bit of a twist and it was definitely challenging so I'm really really excited to go ahead and start filming so if you guys want to see my top 10 purchases from 2017 then please keep watching my number one most used beauty item this entire year was the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette this thing first of all look how dirty and disgusting mine is I know you can just wipe it down but <laughs> why would I ever do that oh uh, yeah real dirty so this palette right here is so incredible it has every single color that you will ever need I don't really need to ramble I'm sure you all have this palette um but anytime that I travel anytime that I do my makeup 90% of the time 99% of the time I'm using this palette it's super affordable the shadows are incredible they're pigmented they're beautiful you guys get the gist this was a ride or die for me this year and I know it's going to continue that way until somebody can come out with something like I don't know even how you would top this, but better than this. So the next beauty item that I want to talk about is a foundation that, to me, is the best foundation I've ever used in my entire life that I just got this year, and I'm already on my second bottle. This is the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. I've done a full video dedicated to this. I've talked about it in favorites. I've used it in makeup tutorials, which I've kind of been shying away from. So if you guys want to see some makeup tutorials, let me know. I'm happy to still film them, but I don't feel like they do the best on my channel. Like, there's just people who are better at makeup than me. If you guys really want to go learn makeup, I feel like I do, like, pretty simple makeup. And so I know a lot of people like that, too. But I've kind of, I don't know, I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long. So if you guys want to see one, let me know. You can do, like, a current get ready with me or something like that. But this foundation is amazing. I'm in the shade 35 it has SPF, doesn't have flashback, it covers everything, it's silky smooth, it makes you look like your skin is airbrushed on, and it stays, it lasts, I just, I won't go on and on and on, because I talked about it so much, but if you have not tried it, make the investment. I believe that Sephora does another, like, 20, 15, 20% off in April, so if you need to wait and save up until April, and then get it on sale, do that. It's gonna come off. Oh gosh. It's like flapping <laughs> oh god okay the best bronzer that I purchased this year and like ever I don't know but the one that I purchased this year that I used almost every single day I've hit pan on it recently down here I'm not happy about it but I will repurchase is the Too Faced Sun Bunny natural bronzer this is like a two-toned um it doesn't have glitter, but it has like a sheen and shine and shimmer a little bit in it. It's what I'm wearing today. I wear it pretty much every day. It's so, so, so good. It has like two colors. I just swirl a brush in. I don't really contour too much anymore using bronzers unless like I'm doing like serious makeup. But um, I use this every single day and it's the best, best, best color. And the sheen that it gives is so glowy and amazing and it feels like... Like, I don't know. I feel like I have like a summer tan right now, but I don't. I, I haven't seen the sun in years seems like because it's so cold here but um that is just like the best color for me and then I'm already holding this so I guess you know what my fourth product is this is the um pixie by Petra sheer rose lip gloss this is so good you guys this is from Target um I definitely like a, a lot of different lip glosses but this color the feel it has like this minty feeling to it the color is so perfect. It's what I'm wearing today, and I don't have... Let me show you. I don't have anything else on with it. And I think, unless I find something better, that this is going to be the color that I wear on my wedding day. So, like, it's kind of special to me because I just, like, got it one day, the small sample version, in, like, a birch box that my friend gave me for a birthday gift. And then I went out and immediately bought this because I was like, I can't be without this ever. It's so 
pigmented and good and I, the reason I want to wear it for my wedding day is because I don't need liner, I don't need lipstick, I can just kind of reapply throughout the day and I'll still look the same, not like lipstick is running off my face. So like with gloss it kind of comes off as you like are drinking or talking or kissing or hugging but it doesn't like smear all over your face so that's why I think I want to go with this. The other like runner up, if you guys are curious, I can do like a full like wedding makeup whoa, video once I get sooner closer and pick everything is a Tom Ford lip gloss um but the color that I have I love it's just too nude so I would need to get it in like I just love the formula I would need to get it in like a darker shade I'm rambling but just letting you guys know I just like talking to you guys um but I would need to get it in like a darker shade because I like this color like rosy for me in pictures um and especially with like flash photography I feel like you need a little bit of a lip and can't do a nude or you'll look washed out so that was beauty. Now we're going to move on to clothes. So the first thing are these leggings, which is so random, from Lululemon. And they are the best workout, just comfy leggings I've ever owned in my life. They are high-waisted. I believe they're called... It's not going to tell me. But they're the high-waisted leggings. You'll see them on the website. They have a couple of different lengths. I have the one that goes like down to the ankle. They're not cropped. They are just the softest, smoothest. I've washed them probably a hundred times. They look still brand new. So they are pricey, but... It is so, so, so worth it to splurge on something like this because if you buy, like, dingy ones, they just get dingy. And these still look brand new, and I love them. This was a purchase I made a little bit earlier in the year, but I didn't want to, like, cancel out summer clothes just because I haven't worn them in a while. But these are a pair of jean shorts from Topshop, and they are the Topshop Moto Mom Jean Shorts. I guess this just comes off. Yep, whoop, there's the tag. I showed these, I believe, in my spring clothing haul. I get a lot of my summer clothes, like, now. I start to be over, like, sweaters and jackets, and I'm like, okay, I want to start, like, I'm over the winter, so I want to start finding that stuff, and stores start coming out with it, and, like, they always just push you ahead. And so I got these at the beginning of, like, the year, and I was like, eh, I'm not sure, like, how much use I'll get out of them, but I don't have a good pair of black denim. I think my black denim shorts before that were, like, from high school, from Forever 21, that just were gross looking. I wore these so much. I wore them like over bathing suits with like, my favorite way to wear them was over a bathing suit with like an open like men's white Oxford and just like kind of let my bikini hang out and like still look really trendy and cool. And they fit like almost like mom denim, but they still like look really good on your butt. And I'm like such a jean short person. My mom always is like, when are you going to grow out of them? Like, when are you going to grow out of jean shorts? And I'm like, I feel like I will always wear jean shorts, a t-shirt, a baseball hat, like a red lip. Like I do anything with them. I love me some denim and these were an amazing buy. Okay, I I know you guys are like, shut up about your rock star jeans, but I couldn't because these are the best buy of the year for sure for me. These are the old navy rock star jeans. Uh, the whole line, I have like 10 pairs from the line. I've done a video on them. I've talked about them a million times. I won't bore you, but this was my favorite pair I got this year, so I just brought these ones out. They're so cute. They have like the perfect denim whisker. They're medium rise and they are super skinny and then the ankle has this like amazing fringe like stamped detail that are just so amazing. They fit so snug and great and comfortable and they're thick they're warm um and they don't give you like a saggy stretched out butt they're just amazing and they're like thirty dollars and they always have a discount code online at old navy so you should definitely check them out so two pairs of shoes for my final two items the first are these chinese laundry white booties oh my god you guys these were the best purchase like ever and I kind of took a risk because I bought them like kind of earlier in the season before I was really into boots and I was like am I really gonna wear these but I do I wear them so frequently like jeans a white t-shirt these jeans a black t-shirt these a like band t-shirt these a sweater these a leather jacket like it doesn't matter I wear them so much. I love this white boot trend. I think it just adds something so fun to your outfit because I'm such a black, white, and gray shirt wearer <laughs> um, that it almost like brightens up the bottom because instead of just wearing black boots with black jeans, like it adds a little flair to the bottom. So I've been so into like statement booties. Um, not necessarily just these if this isn't really your style, but like a leopard pair that I bought. I have a snakeskin pair that I love. Like I just love some statement booties. And then sticking with that theme of like statement sneakers, um, I'm just picking to show these. These are a pair of Vans that I bought this year, but I'm like looking at my sneaker collection over here. I just love sneakers. Like I'm so into them. Next on my list is a pair of Golden Goose. Like it's 
a must for me. I know I like bought the two to replace them, but I'm like, I don't care. I still want them so bad because I wear them and I really, really do get my use out of them. These ones I love so much because I feel like they're great summer and winter. They're not really seasonal um, because you can wear these in the winter with like black and then you can definitely wear them with like those black jean shorts that I showed you or you could wear them like traveling. I just think they're really, really cute, comfy, easy slide-ons and I love this like original check pattern. I know it can kind of come off a little punk rock, but I don't care. I love it. Should I be more scatterbrained? Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so sorry. I'm interrupting this video because as I'm editing, I realized that I did not include my 10th item in my 10 best purchases of 2017. So here it goes. It is these round Ray-Bans in black and gold. I love them, you guys. I purchased these probably like at the beginning of the summer maybe and I have worn them oops sorry I have worn them so much I love them to death they're so good they elevate any outfit like really 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 well sorry about that I'm sorry that I filmed a 10 best purchases and didn't put 10 items in but back to the video sorry again okay so that is it for my 10 best buys of the year please let me know your favorite things that you bought this year i would love to love to love to check them out and then maybe they will be in this video next year if i do the same video so thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much and i will see you in my next one bye